Hey guys, Britta here, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are for part number four of our Marwell Manor series. Uh, today I was planning on finishing our harvesting, but um, Mother Nature has other ideas. So I think the only thing we can really do today while it's uh, raining is probably plough. Um, we've got our bale wrapper over here ready to go, but we don't want to be wrapping wet grass bales because it'll probably um, make our silage go off I go I suppose moldy and stuff so I've put all the bales into here sort of tried to square them up as best we can so I think if we put some um, hay silage straw bales in here we should be all right um, I don't even really want to go in I don't even really want to go and um, make some bales out of the straw up here because it's wet as well. We don't really want wet straw, so we have to wait for it to dry and um, go from there, I suppose. So I'm gonna. I can't remember which shed. There it is. Yep, we put our um, uh, plow in. Uh, keep having dramas with this door. Oh, no, there we go. There was no noise. I couldn't hear it over the tractor anyway. So we've got our plough in here. I think we're going to plough the field just here. Um, that's pretty much the only field we've got ready to plough, pretty much. Um, the other thing that I have at the moment is we have a truck in here as well. Full load of barley on board. So we can take that down and possibly sell that as well. Probably another thing that we can do. So I'm going to turn all the lights on because it's pretty dark out here today start to unfold. I might just start like here somewhere. Uh, I'm going to run it. Uh, so I was going to run, might run at 180 degrees, so I might start at this corner here and then sort of run 180. It's kind of hard to get it right because of the way that the tractor actually works. Got the wipers going like crazy. It is raining pretty heavy though, pretty steady. I was going to say that rear wiper was going fast and then it sort of stops and keeps going again, but we should be able to get um, this field done. This episode, I'm hoping and we can possibly, if the rain stops, get Farmer Jacko back out of back out of bed. He's probably still in bed, knowing him. Um, over here, harvesting the rest of that field. We've still got a little bit of um, barley in the top of the harvester, which is probably getting wet, which isn't good either. But there's not much we can do about it. Just started raining all of a sudden uh, last night, and I decided to. Hit, hit the bed, hit the hay, hit the bed at um, about 7pm, so what I feel like we should probably do with this series is have it so we're um, time, got time constraints, so have it as a like a survival let's play series as well as just a more of a hardcore let's play series as well, sort of similar to our rags to riches. Um, I'm not an amazing person as far as roleplay stuff goes, like survival roleplay, but I'll try my best. But um, yeah, so we've got a time restraints from 7am to 7pm, they're the only times that we can be out on the farm working. So by the time I got all those bales sorted, and um, I think it was just after 7 when I had those bales sorted, uh, got them sorted, so I went a little bit over time. But I haven't really got any neighbours around to complain, it's only if we get caught that we're sort of going to be in trouble. Um, and then I came down and obviously we had to stop the harvester and stopped our other worker, or Farmer Jacko. Got him off the harvester, gave him a call, told him to park it up. We um, emptied as much as we could into the truck and then we parked the truck up in the storage shed there just to get him out of the way. Didn't really need to, but I just thought we'd get him in there out of the way, out of the rain, out of the elements and park the tractor down there with... Um, 
with our wind rower still attached so it's still down there ready to go for when the rain stops but now it's 7 a.m. yeah we're back at it back out out working the John Deere 9R this is a um, bloody beautiful tractor this is a amazing looking tractor definitely need to get a uh, good screenshot of this thing so I think this field is definitely going to take us a little while so we're going to need to um, plow it so we might plow this way and then maybe yeah, we'll probably turn the other way eventually and run maybe at 90 degrees that way once we get this little bit done and sort of do the field in sections which might make it just a little bit easier for us to sort of keep track of where we're going as far as our manual GPS mod goes and that sort of thing So I'll set him up, set him up to 360 or 0 degrees. Okay, make sure we're not, no, we're not missing anything, that's perfect. It's an absolutely perfect lineup that is. So heading up and down, getting all this done. I'm not really sure if you guys would prefer a bit of a time lapse of this. It meant to be at times 5 too. A um, bit of a time lapse of this or just leave it just me doing everything so for this episode we'll stay uh, with me getting everything done and you guys still need to sort of have a bit of a vote and let me know if we think we should time lapse some stuff or just cut out me starting like I can start the field do probably five or ten minutes of um, plowing and then maybe come back and sort of have it cut out so we are sort of finish the job so you guys aren't here the whole time um, yeah, you guys definitely need to let me know. It's still raining over there. There's not a lot we can do while it's raining. So we'll just continue to plough and, and go from there. I know our cedar. Our cedar does say that we don't need to we don't need to cultivate or plough. But I think for us to get this to change from needs ploughing, we have to plough. I don't think that that cedar actually has like a plough, cultivator and cedar sort of thing all in one go. So obviously it's a direct drill, so direct drill cedar, so we don't need to actually cultivate. But I still think for us to get the extra 15%, I think it might be, extra 15% um, yield, we sort of need to make sure that we have ploughed properly. Set him back up 360. There we go. So, the other things I've downloaded, um, it might be in here somewhere. It's the new metal water tank. There we go, the water station. This thing's pretty cool. I want to stick this in. I don't really know where I was going to put it, sort of somewhere out of the way. So, maybe even along here somewhere, or even in here. I'm um, not quite sure where exactly that will go. Um, now another mod that I did just download from the Giants website um, is the vehicle uh, vehicle workshop tabber, I think it's called. So I can pull into our workshop uh, just down there. You guys probably can't see it, but behind the building, behind the silo there, pull in there with this on the back. And if it comes up with a tractor for us to repair or customize, we press tab and it will go back through to the plow on the rear or whatever else we have attached. So. That is um, a bloody good mod, something we certainly need, so that way we don't have to go detaching everything and drive the tractor in, take something off, turn around, come back out, you know, all that sort of thing. It's, it's a little bit frustrating having to do all that, but that's, um, that mod is going to make our life so much easier for when we do actually come through to fix things. So we haven't got much left of this field here. Um, you might have seen also we've got the Freightliner service truck, which is something I definitely want to look at. Um, I might need to purchase it in another game, like a muck around save game, and just see how it works before I decide to bring it into um, this save game. I said we're going to go with a whole survival let's play sort of thing, so we can sort of 
have a machine breakdown on the field, the only way we can get the truck or the tractor or whatever it may be off the field is to use the um, service truck to tow it off the field or we'll have to take the service truck out to it to repair it directly. Tiniest little bit left and then we can fix up. I think we're still not going to go east to west yet. I think we're still going to go. Yeah, we'll go a little bit north south just till we get sort of towards the other end of the sheds here. So it'd be a little bit pointless going east west. Now, continue to go the same way for now and then see what happens. Right, there we go. So, so we get to sort of that point over there where our big rubbish pile is. So let's quickly um, have a look at this water tank again. So I was thinking we could possibly stick it in here somewhere. Um, I think there would be pretty good. Obviously I don't know. 5,107 sort of don't want it to affect the ground too much. Let's just put it back there. Boom, there we go. I might need to come back and take a look at that um, with the landscaping tool. Um, yeah, sort of level this out and actually go down, have a little bit of a walk around and see see what that's actually going to end up like because that might be good that might not be very good at all head back down we want to head back down at 360 degrees or zero there we go that'll do let's go start landscaping again um, kind of want to make sure that that is as level as we can get it so there's no real like massive jumps right, there we go. that should be all right I think so the water tank in there is pretty cool I think we did quickly have a look I think we did buy a water tank we did okay the fortress one so it is the cheap cheaper one but should still do the same job well, luckily with this mod as well this plow um, the modded plow we can actually do this at 30 kilometers an hour so it um, makes us get through the field a lot quicker than we usually would which is awesome um, the other thing that we need to look at of course is our placeables so I want to definitely have a look at uh, those quickly so we've got our water tank which we don't need we've got our fertilizer silo which I was thinking of putting these sort of running them along here somewhere um, it's not really any other good spot to put them really in our farm unless we put them sort of in here but sort of miles out of the way so I think somewhere along near where the lime station is, it's probably going to be a pretty good spot for them. Certainly going to make short work of this field, how fast this tractor pulls this along. So going to just run along uh, this way a little bit, miss some bits. maybe to about there just to help us on my head and sort of north south a little bit try and fix those bits we've missed missed a fair bit here as well Ooh, bit of thunder there in the background hopefully you guys can actually hear it reasonably well I know I um, haven't had any complaints as yet with the sound it's 80% of the in-game sound. I just feel like some some YouTubers that I do watch sort of all you can really hear is their voice. Um, I mean, which isn't a bad thing, but I like for you guys to be able to hear 
not just me, but the tractor sounds and all that sort of stuff. I think um, that is just as important. All right, so let's have a look. We're going to go our fertilizer silo. One of these guys might want to make sure we're not too far back or too far forward. So fertilizer, uh, seeds. I think somewhere around about there. Oop, am I missing a tiny little bit? Shouldn't be missing any. We've got our manual GPS going right, but we must not have it as good as I thought. Um, I don't think that's even it's a little bit silly that we've missed, but no, it's not coming up, so we won't worry about that too much. Alright, let's um, head down this way. So I thought maybe about here somewhere is where we should start going the other way, but now I'm not that sure. It's 90 degrees, we're so still not at 90 degrees just yet, but... Just run this little corner bit here and then we'll head back up to the top over here and head back down again. So we've got our fertilizer, our seed, we're going to need um, liquid fertilizer for our seed up, we're going to need weed as well, like weed or herbicide I should say, I always call it weed, but herbicide. Um, I've got water, we're not going to need lime, so I've already got the lime tower, so that's pretty much all we're going to need for um, those sort of placeables and stuff, I think. Let's sort of try and set ourselves up. A little bit better than last time. There we go. Alright, so let's go all the way along again. Um, so we don't need cork. We do need liquid fertiliser. So I was thinking, um, uh, we'll probably put it on the front of the shed here actually, that's probably not a bad idea. There we go, liquid uh, fertilizer and then herbicide. We sort of see the tractor coming too, so we know. There we go. I think that's all we're going to need. Should have everything we need then, and it didn't cost us too much, didn't break the bank. So we'll have to go and um, have a look and see how that looks. We get a little bit of time. So I think, yeah, maybe one more run down, up and down again, and then we'll probably start heading that way. might have to do a run um, run up and down along that edge or something and head this way see how that goes it's still still raining it's been raining all night for over 12 hours so hopefully we can get a bit of a break in the weather and finish off our harvesting but I'm not sure if that's going to happen Just a little bit here. There we go. Because sometimes I feel like it, as much as it, I like how fast it goes, sometimes it goes a bit too quick for us when we're sort of turning around. Thirty-six. There we go. Three sixty degrees. So one more down, one more up, and maybe another one down, and then we'll see sort of what we have left. Um, 
So sheds, I'm still sort of thinking about a shed that we can put in. Um, I do really like this shed, if it doesn't freeze the game. But um, it's got so much stuff in it. I do like that shed for us to put all our stuff in. Maybe even this old machinery said shed just to put all our mowing equipment in. Down the end there, baling, so we're going to need one section for the mowers, one for the tether, one the windrower, one the baler. So probably going to need at least five five openings. Alright, let's go try and straighten ourselves up as we go. There we go. So I think... Uh, I think definitely one more back down. We'll be alright. So yeah, as far as the sheds go, we need like five openings, and I don't want to go with these. As much as I like them, there's two um, modern for our current farm. So you know, I do like the old woodsman as well, but uh, shed two, I don't mind that one as well. And these guys are just, I don't think they're quite tall enough. So yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do a quick save just in case we end up looking at something and having dramas like the trees, grass, more trees lights, more bushes, more walls the weada, I do like that shit actually, that little weada we could possibly put in like a few of those maybe three of those side by side might not be a bad idea I just think, I don't think that land there is very um, level either, so gonna have to get somebody in with a digger to sort of help us level it all out. Uh, why are you not on the bloody ground? Thought for sure I pressed V then. But... Maybe not. Maybe we had a hydraulic failure at the back for a second there. Yeah, so if we go start landscaping, go and have a bit of a look. Yeah, I definitely think it's not not level, so we'd need to sort of level it from here and put in the sheds along there. But I think. We scroll all the way through. Definitely think the Wiata is um, potential. It's going to kind of be weird though putting the three of them together. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep looking. We'll see what else we can find. Sort of need to get all this, all this stuff out of the elements. Frame rate's not too bad. Even with a sort of moving around like that, the frame rate's still pretty good. Alright, so I'll lift him up. Try not to forget to put him back down again this time. So I might as well run the plough in the ground while we're running this way. So I want to do a run all the way down the end and then two runs across and then we'll head back the other way. Still, still don't want to go baling or anything. I don't want to go harvesting because I, I don't even know if we're allowed to harvest in the game. But in real life, we would be harvesting in, in the wet. Just make things a hundred times harder to get things done. So this is the edge of the map here, as you can see by the red line on the mini map. But you can see other properties in the distance, which is um, pretty cool. Yeah, that's all good. Just making sure we didn't miss anything there. So I'm going to do a run up, and then turn around, do a run back down, and then set ourselves up at that 90 degree angle. Probably still going to have to come back and touch up spots, um, like here and there. When we set up this way, we're sort of going to be going like this. Yeah, I don't know, looking at the map, we probably need to go like that for a little bit and then 
that way again, so I don't know. Either way, we're sort of going to have to come back and catch up with bits we've missed. Oh, I'll keep running along this way. I said, we'll set him up going this way, and then we might even um, get Jacko out of bed. He should be out of bed by now, nearly 9 o'clock. I'll get him to do a bit of work, and we might even go and grab um, a little tractor. Head to the shop, grab our water tank and um, water trailer and get some water into these animals. We've got a bit of hay with the cows, so we'll probably grab one of the bales as well and run it over to the sheep. Just to sort of give them, give the one sheep we have something to eat. So I need to sort of put this on the ground, work out where 270 degrees is. There you go. Hire a worker. He's not going to use lights. I don't know why you're not using your lights, Jacko, but anyway. mate. Uh, where are you? You're down here, ready to go. So we'll um, unhook that. Head back to the shop and we'll grab our water trailer. Might as well actually grab our front forks as well. And grab... I think I've got one, yeah, one hay bale sitting just there so we can... Grab that and run it over to the sheep pen on the way. So I managed to unstack all that stuff reasonably well. In there, there we go. Sometimes it goes all the way in, sometimes it doesn't. Let's... Yeah, I don't know. It's not too bad though. It's close enough to be in it all the way in there. We do have plenty of storage down here though for our um, mowing stuff, but I'd like to put some of it sort of up um, where the field is. There we go. So one little bit of hay. Ooh, watch out for that fence. Have a look at our animals quickly. We only needed a thousand litres, so we wasted a little bit, but it's not too bad. We'll go and grab. Um, Set our water tank. Fold, I don't know if we should fold that right back or right up. Probably should actually take it off, but anyway. Didn't notice any rough bumps for that water tank, so we'll come back and check that out, of course. How are you going? No, you did alright there, didn't miss anything. Jacko's doing okay so far today. So I've windrowed the um, majority of that stuff, except for that last little row, I think, into two rows into one. So it should be a lot quicker for us to actually bale that field, but we're going to end up with so many bloody bales. It's um, not funny. We're going to end up with heaps. So I think um, one thing I was going to sort of look at was get rid of that trailer that we've got for our baling and maybe grab um, this guy. I just feel like that's probably the better trailer for us to load. Um, auto load and then for us to be able to unload it's probably going to be a little bit easier. I don't think the straps work on it though, even if we manually put... Um, if we manually put the bales on, I'm still not even sure if the straps work, so we we'll have to certainly take a look at it. Uh, nothing fancy with this water tank, which is good. This is the one we're going to be using our Rags to Riches series as well, so... A little marker at the back there with how much water's in it. Hopefully that actually works. If it does, that'll be pretty cool. 
think it's all work. That's the main thing, our horn works, which is good. It's still raining, 9 o'clock, and it's still going. Keep an eye on him here, he's doing alright. Not doing a bad job at all. Can't complain. So head down and fill this water trailer up. God, you are lazy. Absolutely lazy. <laughs> Nowhere near finished. Right, so let's have a look at the road as well. Now that feels right. There's no rough spots or anything, so it's good to see. Set it back to go this way, get the higher work up. Hopefully, you won't miss anything. No, good job. So, definitely feels like we've leveled it out enough, and it kind of fits sort of just sitting there under the trees. Actually, looks pretty good there. So, we've got our seeds here, as I said uh, lime, fertilizer. That's probably a little bit further away than that one, but it doesn't matter. Um, liquid fertilizer, which is sort of not as close as I would have liked, but it's there. No smoking, flammable, and obviously our herbicide on this side as well. So that's another thing we need to look at is um, spraying equipment. Another tractor with narrow tyres, otherwise we're going to possibly have to um, get this tractor with narrow tyres. So we might quickly duck in here. Okay, if we go into here, press tab, go through all the equipment. So how cool is that? That's awesome. All right, can we go? No, I don't think we can go narrow tires on that guy. Fortunately, you're gonna to have to get the smaller one, the smaller John Deere tractor, just for our spraying, spraying jobs. I might take this um, bale spike off before we actually head into where the cows and sheep are going to be. That way we don't go stabbing anybody. So I think we run down this way. So that's where we collect uh, liquid fertilizer from that's the sheep area there. So if we head in here, the cows are she's all the way around there. Uh, yeah, let's leave the gate open. Don't think she'll get out. Try not to damage the water tank there. Gosh, I didn't have a look at the back. It certainly looks like there's water in it. Ah, oh, Jacko's been lazy again. It's probably going to happen every time we get to this end of the field because of the way that it's sort of sitting, but it's all right. Work on it. Go around old Bessie here, try not to run into her, and then we can, I think we'll just duck straight through into here. Does it open inwards or outwards? Inwards is so that's good. So I'll run through and we'll jump out and um, close both these gates now, just in case. Never be too safe. There we go, we'll head down. Um, Mr. Sheepy, probably Mr. Sheepy, some water. He should be reasonably happy too. We have a look at the back. Is the lines just there? It definitely works. That's pretty cool. 
but yeah. Just come over for some water already. Apologise it's taken us so long, but. The gate up. Oops, swing out of here. So we need to store this somewhere, so it's animal stuff, so I think we might um, store it in here. So we should start producing wool now, which obviously is going to be next to nothing. But it'll still be something, I suppose. Just park him there because... It's out of the weather there, at least. We might um, do a little bit more now. There's not much else we can do while we're waiting for this rain to go away. So, just checking our time. I was still a little bit of time to go. So, I've gone through two and a half hours in game time. So, we should be all right. Time our time is finished. I think it's just under four hours, so 7 a.m., 7 p.m. It's going to give us a good 12 hours, so I think um, it'll be three episodes, you know, per day, per in game day, so that should work out pretty good. Especially how much, like, it feels like we've done nothing today, really. Like, we've nearly plowed this entire field, but it's, um, taken us forever so kind of feels like we've done hardly anything right, head back up set ourselves to 270 again 270.2 will be fine so we need to run a little bit to the right It's only this little bit here, and then we're going to do a little bit on the other side, and then a little bit more north-south. I think so. There's still you know, a little bit to go. Set us up 90 degrees. We go look at the map. So yeah, there's this little bit here. So we'll probably go that way for a little bit, then just do whatever we want to do after that. Try and optimise our time I suppose to 70 degrees all along again I just have to quickly uh, check something on my other monitor hopefully it won't take too long there we go. Um, I think our premiere of episode number one went pretty well. Um, I think that was anyone we're going to premiere, sort of just episode one, and then the rest we're going to just release as normal episodes. So um, hopefully you guys don't mind too much with that. So like especially for number one, like it's it'd be good to premiere it and have um, you guys watch it live and sort of comment as we go through. We'll be able to discuss certain things with each other and with me as well and give me ideas and all that sort of stuff and do it in like a live it's like a live stream sort of format, even though it's not really live streamed. Um, I know I have I did premiere our Rags to Riches series. And people were sort of like, why are you typing and not talking with your mic? And I don't think people realise what the um, the premiere was, which is easily mistaken, thinking it sort of looks exactly like a live stream, but we're not live streaming. But um, it's sort of only a new feature for YouTube. And only one that I've used a couple of times. I haven't used it very much, so... I'm not quite sure many other YouTubers have used it either, to be honest. I 
nearly finished, just a tiny little bit to go. So if we can get this done in one episode, I'll be stoked. I think we're probably just going to be a little bit short. So we'll see how we go um, for next episode, but it's still raining. It looks like we'll be here seeding the field, which won't take anywhere near as long because the seeder is massive. But um, if it's not raining, we'll continue on with our harvest and we'll also start wrapping those grass bales. Got plenty of baling to do. Still with the straw, once we're finished harvesting, we've still got plenty of bale wrapping to do as well. There's um, a lot of stuff for us to get through before it's going to feel like we're sort of up and running properly, like we should be. Another wage payment, $88. God, Jacko gets paid good, doesn't he? Certainly does. I'm just going to quickly bring up something on my other screen again, as I said. Um, oh, we're back. For a split second, I'm going away again, but I'll be back. There we go. So just something on my other screen I'm sort of trying to keep an eye on at the same time as um, record this episode so apologize, apologize if it's a bit distracting for you guys but so not much left now to get this completely done and change it up and do a run this way another quick check on our timer two minutes we've got two minutes can we get it done in two minutes I don't think so I'm sure we're missing little bits and missing heaps there I oh will come back and touch that up Not going to matter too much. Run this way, 180 degrees. There's only a little bit left to go. So definitely um, enjoying Marwell Manor. Marwell Manor is really, really good. Good map. A lot of hidden stuff that you don't see initially that after we've played it for a little while we might actually find but it is pretty cool so close to finishing so I'll um, do a little outro speech here I suppose because time is going to go off any minute now um, if you guys enjoyed the series as always, smash the like button, leave a comment, let me know if you've been enjoying it as well. Um, if you've got any ideas or suggestions, things that we should do, things we shouldn't do, leave it in the comment section and um, I'll always, I read every single comment and I try to reply to every comment, can't guarantee I will, but I do try to. Um, I might go a little bit quiet with replying to comments because, um, especially as of tomorrow, I'm on three days of day shift at work, and when I go to work, I pretty much, you know, go to work, do what I've got to do, go home, go to bed, and go back to work again for three days, because I do uh, back to 12 and a half hour shifts pretty soon, so sort of need to get back into the swing of doing 12 and a half hour shifts and no longer spending a few hours on the computer after work, because I won't have enough time with um, driving to and from work and working and all that sort of stuff I was sort of limited to not a great deal of time after work and after I've gotten home and shower dinner and that sort of stuff and then obviously traveling to and from work very limited time so but yeah I do I do read every comment and um, I do try to reply to every single one of them I know I'm rambling on a little bit but time hasn't gone yet but as I said if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like don't forget to comment if you want to and um, 
there's our timer. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.